parenting an ADHD kiddo can be challenging. You know, the constant distractions, then pulling you away from your work so you never actually get anything done and trying to keep them on task can just make you wanna pull your hair out. But in this video, I'm gonna share with you three strategies to help you keep your ADHD kiddo on point so they can get more done, be more focused, and be more happy in their life. Hey, I'm Dr. Sam McDonald, brain health expert, helping you rewire your brain so you can live a better life. If you love this content, make sure to like and subscribe so you get the notifications for each week's new video. So the classical neurological profile of a kiddo with ADHD is what we call a right brain deficit, meaning that the right prefrontal cortex up here is functioning at a lower level than the left side. Now why this is really important is because all of but one of your attention networks are on the right side of the brain in this part of the brain here. All of them but one. So on the left side of the brain, we have what's called reward short-term driven attention or short-term reward driven attention network, which if you can think of anything in our modern day society, things like video games, cell phones, iPads, technology, all those things are gonna drive that short-term reward driven network because what's happening is you're playing a video game, you beat the level, you get a reward, right? You get to level up, you get to move on to the next level, the next level, you get new challenges and the cycle continues and you keep going. So it keeps firing this left side of the brain. Meanwhile, on the right side of the brain, you have what's called non-reward long-term driven attention. So this is like sitting in a classroom, having to pay attention to a teacher who is lecturing about a particular topic or teaching on a particular subject, and you're trying to pay attention for those important pieces that are gonna be on the test or on the next quiz. Now, for a person with ADHD, this is extremely difficult because these networks in their brain are functioning at a lower level, meaning they're not working as well, so it's gonna be harder for them to pay attention. Moreover, the frontal lobe here is a big job is to suppress certain types of behavior. So the hyperactivity piece in ADHD, that part of the brain is gonna be suppressing that ability to, or that problem of squirming and moving around. So suppressing that type of behavior is gonna come from the frontal lobe as well. So again, if it's not functioning well, it's not gonna suppress that behavior. So one of the best things that you can do first in order to get your kiddo to calm down, be focused and pay attention is to get them moving. So classically, what we also see again with that right frontal lobe deficit in its function is it's in it's underactive, it's underperforming. So we gotta get the brain moving, we gotta get the body moving to be able to stimulate that part of the brain, specifically using more things on the left side of the body, but in general, just big movements. So think like sports activities, balance exercises, jumping jacks, trampoline, throwing and catching a ball, all those different things, running on a playground, all those different things are gonna stimulate more of that right side of the brain through the movement centers in our brain. It's gonna stimulate the brain. It's gonna to start to get it to calm down. So movement's really gonna feed that frontal lobe. It's gonna to start to help their nervous system regulate just a little bit more to be able to calm down, which is then if you get them, after you get them moving, you can sit them down and get them to focus on homework, lecture, whatever you need to get them to do. That's gonna to help to calm their brain and chill them out just a little bit. So the next tip I have to help get your child focused is to set time constraints. So remember, a ADHD kiddo is gonna have a dominant left brain and a deficit right brain. So the left brain really deals a lot with time constraints and it's really, really good at being able to go after a task or achieve an objective. So if you set a time constraint and say, hey look, I need you to have this done within 30 minutes, this is all the time that you have, that's gonna activate more of that left brain because it's gonna say, look, I need to get this done. That's gonna to start to activate that short-term reward-driven network, especially if you give them a reward or something afterward. So being able to set the time constraint is going to get them more focused and dialed in, especially if they've been moving already, and that's gonna get them more dialed in to the activity or the thing that they need to do. So being able to set that time constraint really, really starts to activate the, the areas in the brain that are functioning well versus the areas that you're trying to lean on that maybe aren't functioning as good. So the last tip to help your child focus better is to get them out of fight or flight, AKA survival mode. So what most parents don't realize is that an ADHD brain is typically gonna be stuck more in this survival mode type of state for a number of different reasons. Could be brainstem dysregulation, AKA retained primitive reflexes. It could also be this inactive of the right frontal lobe. That's a big part of it, being able to keep the fight or flight system under control. It can also be because their nervous system has never properly regulated through the vagus nerve and the whole relaxation parasympathetic brake pedal system that's gonna help their brain to calm down and to focus appropriately. 
So one of the best things that you can do is to get their nervous system regulated, get them out of that fight or flight state. There's an old adage when it comes to talking about ADHD kiddos. They say they have a Ferrari engine and bicycle brakes. This is part of what they mean. They've got this very active, especially left brain, left frontal lobe that really gets them engaged and into things like where they really want to start a lot of things but don't have the sustained focus and attention to complete them. Well, part of that is also due to this just retained survival mechanism that is in the brain that's constantly keeping them on edge. That's also the term tired and wired that a lot of parents will talk about when describing their ADHD kiddo. That's where a lot of this comes from too. It's because their nervous system is primed in that survival state, constantly thinking that they're being chased by a tiger or a bear, when in reality, they're just perceiving their environment in a more heightened threat state versus a more focused and calm, relaxed state. So seeing a brain-based chiropractor, a neurological rehab specialist, or somebody who understands things like heart rate variability can really give you a window into how your child's nervous system is functioning. Moreover, helping you get a plan in place to be able to get them out of that fight or flight state and back into that healing, focused, and loving mode that you know your kiddo can be. So on that note, you should be healthy by choice, not by chance. And for that reason, I will see you on the next video.